Next we are going to see what we should do when we go to a bank and we want to start an account there. Why do we go to a bank either to withdraw money? First we, we would like to start an account and then after we start an account we may go to deposit money or to withdraw money. So all this you should know. So first thing uh, before you uh, withdraw or deposit you should first start an account. So how you should start an account we are going to see now. Okay. So this is at, at the bank. at the bank. Now, uh, some person, a customer will say, he wants to open an account in a bank. So, he enters the bank and asks an employee uh, that he, uh, he, he just expresses his wish that he has to start an account and what he should do, he is asking and uh, that man is sending him into the cabin. Cabin is a place where it is an enclosed area where the bank manager sits and uh, he says you please go and inquire uh, at the uh, cabin you can check with the bank manager. So he goes into the cabin and he excuses himself and he says excuse me sir I would like to open an account and uh, the bank manager says please sit down. And uh, he asks him uh, what sort of account like is it whether it is a fixed deposit or uh, whether it is a recurring deposit what sort of account. He just wants to start an account. So he asks the manager as to what is the minimum amount for, a, for starting an account. And the bank manager says if it is just an account it is 500 rupees, the minimum is 500. But if you want a checkbook, that is without a checkbook also you can have an account. But if you want to have a checkbook, that is you can write in the check and you can uh, uh, claim money, you can withdraw money or you can pay somewhere by check, all that you need a checkbook. So if you want to have a checkbook, the minimum money uh, deposited there should be 1000 rupees. That is what the manager says. So he asks what the uh, rate of interest uh, for fixed deposit is and he says it is 5 percent. So he just says okay I just want to start an account and what are the procedures and uh, the bank manager makes him fill up a form where all the details should be given, the address, the phone number, everything has to be given in the uh, form. And once that is filled, that should be uh, signed by not only the customer, but also another person as witness. So when you have, when you want to start an account in a bank, you can't simply go and start, you need another witness who's already got an account in that bank. Okay? So you need that person's signature also. And also there are two types of uh, deposits, that is single deposit or uh, joint account, single account or joint account. If it's a single account, it, your name alone like only on your name you can have an account and nobody else can take your money or withdraw your money or deposit money. So it is only a single account whereas if it is a joint account you can have it like with you and your wife or you and your mother or you and your father. So it is a joint account two people together. So both of you can withdraw money. Okay. So it's not that only you should withdraw, that person also can withdraw money. So it is a joint account, joint effort like. So this is a discussion that we are going to see and towards the end it should be signed by a witness. Okay. So let's see now what happens now between the customer and the bank officer, the customer.
Now he is asking one of the bank employees as to what he should do. Ex excuse me sir, um, how can I start a bank account? And the employee there Sir, please go to the cabin and meet the bank manager. He will guide you. Okay, the employee is uh, asking him to go to the cabin where the manager is sitting and meet him and he will guide, he says. So the customer enters. enters a cabin. He again says, excuse me sir, I want to start, now first well let's say, excuse, excuse me sir may I come in. And then only he asks him. And the bank manager says, enters the cabin. Yes, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? And then the customer says, I want to start a new account. I want to start an account. What is the minimum money required? What is the minimum amount minimum amount required for for deposit. And the manager says, if it is a If 
it is a single account it is rupees 500 and if it is a joint account it is uh, no no I am sorry if it is a single account it is 500 and if it is a and if you need a check book It is rupees thousand. Then customer says, I well, I want to start. a joint account with my wife what is the procedure And the manager says, first you should fill this form with all the details and you and your wife should sign It should also be signed by a witness. So he doesn't know what a witness is. So he asks next. Witness Shall I ask my neighbor Then the manager says,
No, it should be signed by the one who already has an account in the bank. Anyone who has an account in this bank. And the customer says, Thank you, sir. I shall first fill the form and then do the needful. And the manager also says, Okay, now you see here a dialogue between the customer and the employee, bank employee first. Then the customer goes to the manager's cabin because he's asked to go there. He goes and talks to the manager and uh, they discuss all the things uh, to be done uh, to fill, I uh, mean to start a bank account. Shall we uh, look at the dialogue now? Okay, the customer. Excuse me, sir, how can I start a bank account? He's going and asking a bank employee. And the employee says, sir, please go to the cabin and meet the manager. He will guide you. So he enters the, he enters the cabin and he just slowly opens the door and says, excuse me, sir. May I come in? And he enters the cabin. Manager says, yes, what can I do for you? And the customer says, I want to start an account. What is the minimum amount required for deposit? And the manager says, if it is a single account, it is rupees 500. And if you need a checkbook, it is one thousand. Then the customer says, well, I want to start a joint account with my wife. What is the procedure? And the manager says, first you should fill this form. So he takes a form and gives it to him. You should fill this form with all the particulars or with all the details and you and your wife should sign. It should also be signed by a witness. It should also be signed by a witness, he says. Okay. And the customer says, witness? Shall I ask my neighbor to, uh, neighbor to sign? And the manager says, no. It should be signed by anyone who has an account in this bank. Customer says, thank you sir, I shall first fill the form and then do the needful. And manager says, thank you. So this is a dialogue between a bank manager and a customer. In case you want to start a bank account, this will be really useful and you can practice this dialogue.